Enough bucks is rustling back at you one again. I hope everybody's doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and you're comfortable enough, drop a sister a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the videos just gave you good vibes and you would love to share it with somebody else to see if they can get good vibes as well, it's truly appreciated. You go ahead and do that. It's truly appreciated. So, with that being said, much love. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. And my video today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, that dark time knowledge hit deep. Oh, shut your mouth and keep on talking. Jesus. I know everybody going through it right now. It, it's just been so crazy. Um, it, it's just like you're going through a whole bunch of revelations right now. And it's like when it hits deep, it hits deep. It have you all over the place. And it's just like you be happy one minute. You be de depressed the next. Next, you know, you be the U New Jersey head hunter. You know, all these different things is coming out. But it's revealing the depth of your soul. It's really, you know, revealing the depth of you through these different things. It's like when I think about it. It kind of reminds me of the movie Seven, and I know I used this as a, a example before. It's been a while though, but it's true. You know, um, it made me think about Kevin Spacey when he was talking to Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman, and he was talking about you can't just tell somebody something by just tapping them on on you know on the shoulder and um, just doing something like that by just telling them something, being nice. Sometimes you gotta knock them the heck out and then be trying to get your point across. And sometimes it's like that when it comes to us. You know, we hail because we we hard on everything it's like we renegade rebels you know rejects and all those different type of things you know so we you can't just nicely come up and say hey you know you really have these different qualities that you really need to seek yourself into like no nah, we need to rip you apart <laughs> you know we really need to rip you apart you know you won't really go through some different stuff and you had to be able to find out the depths of you through you know uh mishaps through your failures through you know con constant tests god is like really testing you left and right left and right and you be looking like you're ready to kick his teeth in at the time <laughs> like oh, you stop playing with me stop playing you know i ain't healed all the way stop doing that but it's just like going through those different things you know you're really getting tested but this is really showing you the growth of yourself you know a lot of times you're just ready to give in ready to walk away you know y'all I've, I've been very transparent with y'all there'll be some time i'll be ready to walk away too much but it's just like i got so much to prove to myself i can't do that you know and there's just too many folks out there to just praying like oh, is this gonna be her last day today is gonna be but i'm gonna start back up tomorrow i'm gonna say shoot you pissed off i'm gonna really about to keep on sitting in i'm gonna really give you something to get pissed off about you know take notes take notes you know you can't walk away from stuff even if you wanted to you're on that mission to where you're binded. It's like it's like kind of like a soul contract. Like we don't sold our life away. And um, y'all, sorry, I, I got my nose ringing today. It was like my little hair is off my hair. My hair is like really rubbing against my nose and driving me crazy. But it is just like we don't sold that 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 soul contract. And it's like you're gonna have to go through this stuff. You know, we hate the way the world is right now. And we're going through those different, you know, uh, situations that really teaches you about yourself through your mishaps you know a lot of times they'll make you feel like you're losing your mind but you are losing your your human mind your program mind your unlearned mind you know your limited belief mind you know your toxic habit mind pattern mind you know thoughts you know intrusive thought mind you know you're losing all this stuff and for you to be able to do that it brings so much knowledge into you where you're seeing where you see your worth you're seeing where you can trust yourself you're seeing where you can be determined and you know a lot of times you know i can see myself getting mad and i'm like you know i'm gonna go ahead and keep going you know because it'll be your higher self is like oh so you gonna allow this little situation to make you you quit <laughs> hell no <laughs> you know no because <laughs> see you know when you walk it away from stuff like that that shows you so much about yourself that you really are truly are not allowing yourself to know and sometimes you have to really find yourself by losing yourself 
another like good analogy that just came up. It's like you gotta find yourself to lose yourself. Mommy, that dad on uh, what was that song by Eminem? Lose yourself. You know, this is the magic, the music. <laughs> you know, gotta let it go, go, go. You know, it'd be one of those different situations where you know, even he had to find himself through that movie Eight Mile. I love that movie. Rest in peace, Brittany, uh, Brittany Murphy. I love that girl. You know, where he was scared to do different things. He got up there and it took. You know, he he throwing up ner nervous and stuff like that, and he trying to sit up here and rap battle against the hardest rappers in Detroit. You know, um, and it, it was just going through all that. I think it was in Detroit. Yeah, I think it was in Detroit. If not, I apologize, but I knew it was somewhere up there in Cadillac City. But <laughs> you know, it, it had to get to that point where you really have to know where your strength is. You battling, you know, and a lot of times you battling. This is you. Everybody has this hidden talent, and a lot of times we don't find it until we have gone through something very drastic. You know, um, my powers is really, you know, spike throughout the times of me, you know, really having to see that dag I didn't find this out about myself until I pushed myself I didn't find this out about myself until I you know I fell down and I, I didn't find out about myself until I constantly fell down and then got up I didn't find out about myself about how people that really you know wanted to discourage me find you know they they see a lot of stuff in you that you don't see and that's the reason why I always say and I say I'm not trying to be funny about people that hate on you but those are your best supporters because if you ain't got no haters on you, there's something that ain't about you that's intimidating. You ain't got something good working for you, you know, because you it, it's just like a hey, okay, and I'll tell people real quick, you are a triple threat. You can just walk in the room and your energy is like, hold up, you know, just like, hold up. What's going on with you? Because, see, I, I'm, I'm on my projection thing, and I'm not trying to solve nothing. I'm just really trying to blame somebody else, and I'm really trying to understand what is that you got going on. Because I already know I'm about to destroy it. You know, it'd be some type of mess like that. And it's just the more you become open towards yourself and, and on that vibration of, like, you, we don't realize at times when we're light working when we're working easy you know when we're working on ourselves we don't realize at time that's actually light working because when you realize and stuff about yourself and there's different people that are lost in this world they're really trying to understand why is life got to be this way why did I have to go through this growing up why am I still having people come up to me and they're just acting this way with me and all rah rah and crotchety and junk like that and I'm just trying to be peaceful you know and they're wondering why this happened you know I'm meeting different people over here in my neighborhood and coming to find out we got daggone hayoka's left and right I'm like oh lord you're a hayoka and I'm like what what is that is that contagious I'm like girl it's not a sneeze you know it's like hell good it, it kids and type <laughs> you know what I mean one of those type of things I'm like no nah, no nah, that hit contagious <laughs> it's like that spiritual I don't know it can hit you and next thing you know you be all stuck and confused and you just really going through it and you know and it's just like when I sit here at times and I get angry but then I really start thinking girl there's something in you that is, is is trying to be released there's something in you that's trying to get acknowledged there's something to you that's trying to get a connection and you wonder why it's happening and it had to happen through these dark times and it's going to keep coming until you allow yourself to keep getting really reacquainted with yourself and a lot of times we're trying to understand why do I got to keep going through this why has it got to be repetitive why has this got to keep happening why 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 you know we got more questions at the times we don't realize we're the one who got the answers it's like why is this well you know you had to go this way but why is this well you know you had to go you know the higher self is already answering it you know it finds you back to yourself you know and it's just like when i'm thinking about all these things it remind me of a lot of different songs i you know i love to uh, love to listen to and not realizing that the backstory on different songs it's like when you woke you watch movies that you don't watch like 50 11 times and then when you woke you see it in a whole different way like that you know this is going on anybody ever seen the moon fall that movie is dope as i don't know what it just it just came out and not to give out a hidden you know the hidden uh plot to it but when i say this is what we're going through right now and i was just like Lord, dear God, help us. You know, and it, it was really something good. Like, it was a jaw dropper just trying to find that out. Just watch Antlers yesterday, and that was about Native American. Because as soon as I started seeing this thing, I said, oh, hell, we got a win to go. This is a damn skin walker. You know, and that's, you know, and it, it's just like so many different things you're finding out about yourself. You know, because right now, it's like when you're clearing, when I tell you so much insight is coming to you, it ain't even funny. 
you know and it'll be different things where you're starting to see you you'll have different images of certain numbers you'll have different images like if you you're you're connected to tarot cards and you know you're clearing out or you're getting confused and you're asking for assistance from the divine all of a sudden you'll start seeing like a wheel of fortune or you see the ten of cups or you'll see uh the two of uh two of pentacles or something like that you and it's telling you go research this is what we're trying to tell you about your life. This is what we're trying to tell you about your path. Or, you know, you're going through different things or a certain animal will come up. And it's telling you, come on, research this. Because it's like you want to help when you're allowing yourself to be open to it. Even though, you know, you're a brave heart, stubborn soul. You know, and you're, you're going through those different things into your life. And it's just like, you know, you had to be able to inspire yourself. You're inspiring yourself to go through this. And the way it's going to get you in touch with it, it can't just come up and tap you on your shoulder. It can't come up here and be polite. These are the certain things. you like, oh, thank you, you know, and then forget about it five minutes later. No, God going to rock your socks off by slapping the Holy Spirit out of you. It's like your spirit done left, came back and like, what the hell just happened? You know, it was one of those days on slaps you know where you just like damn oh <laughs> you know be like one of those and you really just really trying to understand what was going on and you had to be able to go through that through some kind of tragedy and you know and a lot of times we try to understand why does my life have to be this hard and when i got on this daggone spiritual path all of a sudden i started losing friends people thought i was crazy people ain't understanding what i'm you know they already looked at me like i was a, when i talk out I, I didn't talk like i was from here you know you know, it's like, do we need to, are you a 5150, you know, what are we doing? We need to go get you psychoanalyzed. You got some psychosis we need to worry about. You know, one of those type of things. Man, it me, remind me of Bernie Mac. <laughs> you got some, what you got going on here? You know, some kind of crazy mess like that. And you're really trying to understand what is going on with you. Why do I have to go through so many different things? Why does my friends and my family, my children, you know, even if I say something, I'm blessed because I got one spiritual child. <laughs> you know, my other two is like, Mom, I want to hear that. That's like the work of the devil. I don't want to do that. You know, because so many different things is in our background. And like, no, that's not me. You know, uh-uh, I ain't got that. You know, hell because I mean, I don't want to deal with that. Gemini's is crazy. I don't like that. And you know, it'll be all those type of different daggone things. And it, it'll be just those things where I can just, I got one child I can freely talk about something she don't think I'm crazy like my mom so glad you told me about this and this be the main one I bump heads with and she just like me. But it'll be that one where when I say my life has flipped upside down, it went like a hexadelicom. It didn't have no yeah, 16 sides to it. Mommy and Mike, when he said that this ain't no love triangle, this is a hexadelic comp. And that's exactly what my life went through. And it was like, I couldn't even find my way to Sesame Street. You heard me. You know, and it was one of those different type of situations where, you know, I really had to find myself by losing myself. I had to lose that old part of me. And for me to lose that old part of me, I had to fail. I had to have people lie on me. I had to be betrayed in the worst kind of way. I had to get have my life in danger many a damn times. You know, be walking on, knocking on. I have my own secret knocking death door. You know, me and Dag on Grim Reaper like this. Like, am I gonna see you on Thursday? <laughs> damn. Okay. You know, be one of those type of situations. And it's just like you constantly keep going through these different things in your life, and you're really learning. Through your tribulations you really had to stumble to get back up it's like I'm gonna knock you down but the point is I'm let me see how your challenge is let me see how far you gonna jump to get back up you gonna have a setback all right I'm saying how much is it worth for you to have that powerful comeback I'm gonna have you knock on a couple of doors that ain't gonna open but are you gonna check that one last door that's already been unlocked waiting for you to walk in this is how you finding out your different knowledge through your dark times and it hits deep it really hits deep so if you're going through something at this point in life right now which a lot of y'all are <laughs> a lot of y'all are you're really going through it this is where it's showing you where your true strength is where your power is and it like I said it can't walk up and just shake your hand and say hi you know remind me of the latter-day saints we can't come up here or you know the Jehovah witness let me tell you about Jehovah today you ain't gonna be wanting to listen to something like that so what they're going to do is just like, they're going to hold what you truly are trying to manifest in your face. And try to just keep yuking it back. Just yuking it back. Like, oh, you want, mm -mm. 
you know and just keep doing that and just trying to see how bad are you willing to go for that how how much are you what what am i willing to put i'm gonna put you through hell and high water on multiple trips you're gonna have a couple of fly miles you, as many times you go back you probably have a free trip with a, a with a, a, with people two people plus one you know to go to the bahamas or belize you know someplace like that uh, many times you don't have that many frequent fire miles through your tribulations through your hell through your whatever you going through you know and it is like you gonna go through that and it's just like how bad are you willing to go how much you willing to sacrifice how much you willing to let go of what are you willing to accept what are you willing to change what are you willing to focus on just to get this in your life because when i bring this to your life it's going to change your life it's going to change your outlook on how you see things you won't understand why i put you through all this hell you won't understand why i tell you to be grateful for everything why i'm telling you you got to appreciate everything the good and the bad the happy and the sad you know all these different things how are you willing to go through it you really want to know the truth of you i'm going to send you the truth to you and when i put you there it's going to be like a war zone you fighting you yourself and i you know the good trying to you know the, the new trying to come out and 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 the fizzle the daggone old you know and going through that you had to go through that and it teaches you so much about yourself through that war zone because a lot of times this, we can have so many people coming at us so many people trying to hurt us. So many people trying to kill us out. So many different people trying to block our blessings and all that. And it's just that was that illusion we had to have placed on us. That was that trivial. The game called life. And we going through a crazy life. You know. And those are the things you had to really go through. Just to remember who you are. This is like a Mufasa and Simba type situation. With a little hint of Rafiki. You don't even know who you are. You know, he's like, come on, Rafiki will show you the way. <laughs> you know, and he will really show you that. But he's going to show it to you through the hell zone. And then when we finally walk out of there, we're going to go through the trenches. We're going to come out of here smelling like Glade and Mr. Clean. And I'm talking about the raindrops, free scent. you like, girl, damn, where, where you been at? You know, when put yourself in the washing machine. No, I just came from hell. And smelling like that, yeah, just came from hell. And you know, putting out smoke, but you ain't smelling like it. You know, and it's gonna be one of those moments. And then you're gonna understand why God put me through this. You know, you may not like him right now. No, I don't. But you're gonna appreciate me later. And it's gonna really show you who you are because you ballsing up right now. You beast molding up. There ain't nothing gonna be able to touch you. You, you know, you, you can't be tainted, you can't be jaded. You know, you had to go through that. And a lot of times, it's like, why did my life have to be so hard? Because I'm making you hard. This is what, you know, warriors ain't soft. We ain't the ones that sit up here, you know, you can hit your toe and all hell will break loose. You know, they'll be like, you can't even hit your toe. No, you hit my toe and it, it's like, I'm going to call you everything except the child of God and the name your mama gave you. It, it's going to be one of those type of moments. But then it's just like, you, we really put in a real deep meaning of warrior. And it's just like we're just not no average warrior. We're hybrids. On top of that, you mix breed. You a whole mix of something. You know, something that the devil don't want to come out. That's the reason why everything is so hard for us. And this is the reason why things be so complex and, you know, just crazy. You had to have these different setbacks. You had to have these different traumas in your life. Because it's like when we were spiritual beings and coming through. Oh, we're Billy Badasses. You couldn't... Man, I got about 12,000 god on personalities. Let me go back and get them. You know, we only got about 12 million god on powers and stuff like that. I'm good. You want me to go out here and help save this hellish world that we already don't want to walk in? We want to create a whole new one? All right, I'm good. All right, you want me to sign on the paper? All right, I'll go ahead and do that. And we did not sit up here and we'll look at that fine print. We did not see the clause and the terms and conditions. We didn't see that. You know, God made sure. He was like, well, you know, there's a little bit different stuff like that. But you can handle it. You can handle it. Yeah, you can handle it. Mm. You know, I got it. Next thing you come down here, don't wipe your, everything out. You had to learn everything from the beginning. 12 million years of backed up strength and, and, and chaos that we can create in our own storm. You know, we all our own Marvel comics. You know, Marvel Comics from, you know, wherever, you know, and he done wiped all that out. 
I'm gonna just leave you about one or two out of 12, 20 billion daggone things that we know how to do, how to, you know, how to shift all this, this, and that. We gonna wipe everything clean. And now you have to start off from day one. Work with it. <laughs> and that's what the heck we had to go through. But I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. Y'all have been going through, you know, my different clearings and purges and stuff. And I had to sit back and do all that. And, you know, the little nice chaotic things. So, you know, I'm back in here. Back better than ever. You know, feeling great. You know, like one of those different things. But I hope y'all are able to have a blessed weekend. Uh, knowing the way I'm doing this video, this will probably come out by... Thursday after next since I'm doing it the long way but I would love to give a post notification shout out to my sister from another mr. Angel Fish um, and my newbie uh, what's his name Stefan uh, Gia Landed Della I hope I pronounced that right if I didn't I do apologize baby steak much love to you and uh, saying anger much love to you as well if you're new to the channel welcome it's so good to have you um, I hope you're able to resonate with the other videos I got out here I got about almost 5,000 something so good luck you know work with it but um, I do leave my contact information in the description box below I know a lot of people have asked me browsing how can I get in contact with you I don't give my stuff out I leave it right there so when you serious and you want to hit me up and it's on spiritual spiritual I iterate that S spiritual you know um, spiritual networking um, it's all about giving you a deeper purpose of uh, you know your mission and different things that's taking place with that you know um, or different things that people t you know they want to share with me like Rosalind is this normal number one you're a Hayoka nothing's crazy nothing's normal you're rare you ain't trying there, there's a why would you want to be normal <laughs> you know with all that but I hope you have a blessed weekend please be safe um uh what else did i have to say yeah i'll leave my contact information in the description box below as well as my link to my podcast uh on there i know i shared one the other day and i got a few more that i gotta do um uh, gotta place on here as well so um i hope you have a blessed safe weekend be responsible at everything you do and um you know uh whatever you're trying to manifest into your life baby it's coming so much bigger and better than you ever imagined and it's going to come so much sooner than you ever expected you know you've been probably going through so many down and outs you know setbacks you know different things you thought was going to come through didn't come through yet do not give up if you got to take back seat to your own purpose for a minute not plant there but just for a minute you're pausing not planting do that and you come back even when you're mad come back use that that anger is is to be motivated you know it, it stays aggressive with you use that to keep moving you know you gotta really do that so i hope y'all have a blessed weekend and you'll see me on the next video i love y'all so much peace